When we left things off, I just sold 17 units of salvage at Arcorp after quite a lot of work to get the Caterpillar and Vulture on site at the same time. When I returned to Mikkel 3 at the edge of the Stanton system, I was pleased to see that my Cutlass was still on the pad where I'd left it, despite all of the doors being open, and I would be landing the Caterpillar in a hangar for now. I was to be joined by Artax for some team salvaging. But I had a little time to kill before he arrived, and so I figured I'd fly the Cutlass out to where I'd left my Vulture, out there in the cloud. Just like yesterday, I'd have no marker for the vulture, but the huge rock cluster I have named South America on account of its shape would guide me in. And on the way, I spotted something I'd seen many times before, wrecked segments of a former station, but it begged the question whether such things can be stripped for salvage, right? My vulture was still out here, waiting to be recovered. I'd trace the path back and go take a closer look at these segments of station wreckage. You can find these often around the Hurston Moons at the weapon testing sites often seen in bounty missions, but if they were salvageable they'd make an attractive target at rock clusters like this. The HUD told me there was no target and in my enthusiasm I got a little too close. I'd knocked off one of my salvage beams. These station remnants are pretty cool to take a look at up close. I think it's a shame that they cannot be stripped, but each piece I tried had no interaction with the ship systems. Of course, I'd now need to go back for repairs to replace the salvage beam that I just lost. Now I could finish off the material that I didn't collect yesterday. And of course, an option you have right now is to salvage your own ships. I plan to not make a lot of use of this loophole because I feel it takes the adventure and sport out of salvaging, but just once to test the efficacy I think would be useful. The shields must be turned off to salvage a functional ship. As things currently stand, salvaging the panels you find out in the wild is considerably more effective than salvaging an intact ship. I think this is maybe even a measure put in place to incentivize seeking out salvage in space rather than spawning your own ships for the job. I got another three boxes out of the Cutlass, and now I was heading back to Endless Odyssey to prepare for Artak's arrival. The plan for the day was a team effort following the same outline as my solo run the day before, a vulture and a caterpillar out there in the black. I'd be below deck on the vulture pulling the boxes, and Artax would be piloting. We'd fill the caterpillar between stops and scout together. I was on my way back to the South America cluster when Artax arrived. Yeah, I have you 80k away from me right now. And as Artax was completely new to this, he'd have a lot of questions. Are they... Has this salvage tended to be by big rocks? Or... Uh, not as a rule, no, but like out here, at least. The big patch that I found, and it was a big patch of salvage, was out by those big rocks. 
I can already see like another collection of boob rocks. I'm gonna fly there now. Take a look at that. I don't think there is any kind of correlation between the big rock clusters and salvage wreckage. I just think they make good landmarks to move between during your search. The cluster up ahead was shrouded within the Lagrange cloud, so I'd call this one Cloudy Cluster. As I got closer, I'd begin prospecting once more, sending out pings and looking for potential wreckage. Let's just be careful. There's a lot of debris. These pings, yeah, none of it's loaded in for me yet. Oh, I might be onto something here. I might be onto something. Possibly. Two clouds. Doesn't look like there's a rock. Yeah, okay, we got some salvage here. We got some salvage. Got two pieces. Oh, it's three. There's three. Three, here. four, maybe, maybe four. Four pieces at least. The bar on the, like, you got the cargo bar on the left, and then there's a bar that says, right now it's at 100%. Oh, it's how much material is on whatever you're salvaging. The EVA spinning around when you go into EVA, they've got to change that because it's so annoying. And. The difference between the two scrapers, one wastes material, right? The bigger... Yeah, the bigger one wastes... It's faster, but it wastes material, yeah. Hold on, I'm looking for you. Okay, I'm all good. Got a tractor beam, good to go. Now that I was on board, we could get to work. And having two players working together on a vulture can really speed things up. Cloudy Cluster comes to the rescue. Okay, good. Box is coming out. You know what I haven't seen? I haven't seen any regular ships. Oh, I did see. Uh, I did see a Hercules. I'm sorry. Point zero right now. So. It's point nine. Yeah, there we go. It's ejecting. But the desync on the servers right now leads to some interesting quirks. Did you cut the beam so are they still going? No, I shut them off. Okay, to me, <laughs> desync is so bad. <laughs> oh. And we'd run into a problem I'd encountered on the day before. The vulture at this time will sometimes lose its ability to pick up salvage, despite the wreckage itself being melted away. I'm still at zero percent, or still at zero. Maybe if we bedlog. If I go back to the caterpillar bed bedlock on the caterpillar, you will bedlock here on this ship. Oh, you, you may not have to bedlock. I can just join back on you. Wait, I don't, I don't think that you would need to log out. Well, it could be a server problem. I mean, it, it's hard to say, but yeah, but we'll, we'll try. You know, just join back on, on me first. Oh, doesn't want to let go of me. Close your back door. I'll do, I'll use this opportunity as well to move the car that closer to the wreck. Okay, logging out, we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. Okay, we can see, see if we get back. I was moving the caterpillar closer to make transferring any cargo an easier job, and when our tracks made it back into the server, we get some good news. The bar is going up now, but Good. it doesn't, it didn't keep whatever it was. I don't, I didn't notice anything different as far as like anything we did different that would make it botch up like that. It's not, it's a server problem. It's gotta be. I mean, I know they've said to expect, you know, a lot of uh, problems as players is, are you moving around by the way? Are you moving or is it just me? I am moving. Oh, okay. I, well, I'm like I'm rotating and stuff. Do you need me to stop? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I, I got in. Just them. Um, there was. I was like trying to hit the button, and the button was like. <laughs> moving. It's like wait. It's like me. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I, I have to move the whole ship to move the beams. That makes sense. I didn't realize you were so close. Sorry. That's all good. Getting some teamwork going really started to seed ideas about how we could run this with the org. 
Let's see, you had three vultures with two people on each vulture, and then someone in a caterpillar. You find like a lump of salvage like this, and then one of the vultures starts salvaging it. You find two more, and then the other two vultures are nose. So the caterpillar is like out scouting for the salvage and leading the vultures to it ahead of time. So like they've always got something to go to. The caterpillar is perfect for it because it opens on all sides. Yes. Another quirk of desync would become apparent as I was watching Artax salvage and I was questioning why he wasn't going for the big lump of good material at the bottom of this panel. Really big bit down below. I'm gonna share my screen right now. Maybe we're not seeing the same thing. Do you see all of that hole there? Oh no. Oh, okay. I guess we'll move on maybe. to the next piece, maybe, you know? It seems that the condition of these panels can at this time be different between players. Where I was seeing a panel with a lot of material left, Artax was seeing a completely stripped panel. Nonetheless, the cargo grid was filling up. But the beams would fail to extract salvage again, and so we'd attempt another bed log. I might as well just wait in space from here. Okay. The station was only about 40 kilometers in the background, and I had my own vultures stored there. I figured I'd go recover it while Artax worked this problem, just in case we needed to replace the vulture outright with a fresh one. While I wait for you, I've got a plan because I've got there's a couple of boxes of salvage back at the station. I've got. I'm going to bring them down here, put them in the car there. This is not productive. I'm gonna Alt F4 and I'll reload and see what happens. Roger. Pulling ships can also be an extremely slow process right now. Another problem CIG are hard at work to resolve. Yeah, and the ones I found earlier, the big pieces were fairly close to Cruel 1. I mean, I could see Cruel 1 from there, but... So I didn't know if they were trying to put them in, like, in, like, shipping lanes, like where ships would normally fly, or, like, what the... Now, Artax has been a member of a pirate org, and so I wanted his insight into the potential risks to salvages as 318 ramps up and more players get online. Like I said earlier, the pirates watch cargo videos, Vehicle they watch selected. mining videos, and now they're gonna watch salvage videos because they want to know what the routes are <laughs> and what the like where the hotspots are, and that's that's where they'll end up. Like, if if it ends up that this is like a super hotspot for for salvage or something. They will, they will come out here and set up camp at Mech L3. For the time being, at least, these Microtech Lagrange points seem to be a good place to experiment, simply as a result of being remote. They are not on the way to anything, and so player visits seem to be extremely infrequent. Before taking off, though, there was something I needed to do. Oh, wait, something I've got to do here, is there? Got to move some. Got to literally got to move some of this cargo so there's space for the dragonfly. Oh, in the, um... Yeah, I just had to move two boxes. As my vulture took flight, I check in with Artax on the status of his. Do any luck? Anything improved on your end? Like... Uh, no, I I tried it once more and... Um, I didn't want to start... I didn't want to waste... So. No, that makes sense. The dragonfly was going to be very cosy back here. Fit, but you know what? I like it. <laughs> that didn't mean to sound in you and do it. Oh no, I would never take anything that way. I don't know. Eesh, that is a tight fit back there. We've got our cargo and the dragonfly. And you, when you put the dragonfly in, you can't really close the ramp either. I can't quantum to you, I have to just fly to you. But we've got a fresh vulture. Before, when I used to go rock mining, I, <laughs> rocks would do the same thing, the little rock miner. Would it really? So I would take, yeah, I would take like two rocks out with me in case one like started not working. Okay. 
Yeah. Just fire up another one. My tear left. Let's see. Yeah, the cargo was going up here. Okay, so if you use this one, I'm gonna start emptying both of them into the caterpillar. Operation going on. I, I know, right? That'd be perfect. Best we are right now is, is great. We learned at this time that Aratorn was planning to join us in the near future, bringing along another vulture. We could maybe get a third vulture just in case these both of these two break, maybe. And once back aboard, I'd begin moving the small collection of cargo onto the caterpillar. That pulled me into EVA. That's weird. I did the spinning around in that box is loose. Gotta make sure it doesn't get away. Yeah, we're scrapping now. Like this is cool. This is this is what I want logistics to be like, you know? Bunch mm. of people all doing different jobs. Lots of ships out. It's gonna be cool when like refinery ships come out and stuff. Yeah, I think that to complete the kind of logistics framework, like what they could do in the short term that would really help is make the saddlebags of the mining ships detachable. So you could like oh, have yeah. transport ships to take that back. Just that up there. My own vulture still had the boxes from the cutlass and the original panels as well. But it appeared, despite our low cargo yield right now, that all of these panels were now used up. Do you see any other blobs anywhere? Uh, I mean, what, you mean like any other pieces of rack? Yeah, like the markers for them. What we'll do is when we yeah. find the next lot, I'll take the dragonfly and go bring the other vulture down with us as well. Oh, I mean, it could stay wherever. It, I mean, if it's broken, it's... But it might recover. Like, And my vulture might break, you know? Yeah. And if my vulture breaks, you know, we check that one and that one's working again. I mean, great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There is another cluster up this direction. It's another cloudy cluster. We were setting course for another rock cluster in the cloud and would prospect along the way. I don't see a rock. Oh wait, or do I? I see a station wreck up there. Yes, that's a good sign. All of these spots that have those station wrecks seem to have at least a little bit of salvage. Yeah, it's at about 11 o'clock. It's a shame they're not salvageable because they would be cool finds then if they were, you know? Oh yeah. We'd push through the rock cluster and despite seeing some pretty amazing sights along the way, we didn't find a single panel of salvage out of this one. It was time to consider making other plans. Haven't found anything new since, uh, since that first patch at the moment at least. Yeah. Now, it might be worth jumping to, the, to a different nebula. We lose a vulture, granted, but... Yeah, I don't think it's gonna start working again anyways. We'll transfer the cargo to the castle and then we'll jump to uh, the next nebula. Okay. I'm on your uh, port side. Okay, cool. Can we go to the front or? No, 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 you good. It's just I've got to jump over this railing. That's all. L5 or L4? Uh, L5 is fine, I guess. 5 it is. 
The jump from Mikkel 3 to Mikkel 5 is extremely long, and so before setting out we need one last stop at Endless Odyssey to fill the quantum tanks to fall. Endless Odyssey. Seventy five million kilometers, Jim. So we were saying goodbye to Mikkel 3 and heading for greener pastures at Mikkel 5. Arathorn would be joining us there where hopefully we could find some wreckage and make some credits. Join us next time to see how we fare when multiple vultures are at work. I would like to announce the winner of our Star Citizen game package complete with LTI Drake Vulture, Lord17C. Thank you Lord17C for your comment and for your kind words. Your comment was position 211 when ordered from newest to oldest and yes I did have to manually count my way through them. The RNG favoured you today so well done. I will drop a reply on your comment so we can arrange the delivery of your prize. But everyone else fret not because we have another Star Citizen game package complete with LTI ship to give away today. This time it is the all new Scorpio Centauris from RSI. This brand new interdictor features both a quantum dampener and EMP on board and still packs quite a punch for the pilot with their 4 size 3 hard points. For your chance to win just leave a like and a comment on this video and again a winner will be chosen at random in the next 48 hours. Again a huge thank you to CIG for sending us some awesome prizes to give away. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching and all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now. Without these generous people, none of the videos here on the channel would be possible and I am very grateful to each and every one of you for helping me continue this channel. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.